Good afternoon, welcome back to some more Dragon Quest VIII. Now, uh, we've left Jessica and Trode in the inn. I don't think Jessica is back in our party just yet. And uh, we need to go save David, don't we? So I'm going to actually just go back to Dominico's place. Which was... Which was down here, I think. Yes, yes, there it is. Uh, in fact, there's David. I can see him. So we don't need to... Well, he's, he's safe for now, but of course the scepter got uh, misplaced. And I think we know who took it, but let's just see what he has to say. There you are. Thank you so much. I'll never forget how much you saved my life. Da -da 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 -da. Doesn't make any sense. Great sage, but she's got it wrong. I'm just an ordinary man. Nothing more than a servant. Anyway, there's no time to stand around chatting. I've got to go and look for Sir Leopold. Yes. Yes, the big, scary, red-eyed hellhound. Who, I think, has the scepter, of course. And, and Not going to be good. Not good news. Now, I think we need to speak to Dominico to progress the events. Question is, where is he? He might be up in his room. With the, uh, with a really nice, fancy, snazzy carpet. <gasps> He's not here! Is he in the library? His secret library that he doesn't bother hiding anymore? Are you down here? Mr. Dominico? Or Master Dominico? No, he's not there. He's not fallen in his cauldron, has he? He's not in his bed. Is he downstairs? There's no more rooms upstairs, so he must be. Aha! Not been feeling well ever since seeing that little witch off, you know. It's not a physical matter, I've just got an uneasiness that I can't seem to shake. Hard to put into words, but I'm gripped by a feeling that I've made a most almighty blunder. Great Dominico does not suffer indecision and regret. Leave me be. Okay, come back and see me later. Right, well, let's go chat to David again. Oh, cutscene, possibly. Oh dear. Oh. Come quickly! It's David! It's David, oh no! Well, we leave him alone for two seconds, and he goes and gets himself in trouble. It's Leopold. He's got David with the scepter! I knew something bad was going to happen. Uh oh. Hurry up. Oh dear, he's got him pinned. Pinned you again. That's one evil looking mutt. Now, there are only two left. You will interfere. No more. He's not killed him, has he? Ah, oh, shit. Whoa, he's got some... Some agility. David! Dave! Dave, lad. Oh no, he's still alive. Please, go after Sir Leopold. He, he's, he's the only one who makes Master Dominico happy. Dominico needs a woman. Without Sir Leopold, Master Dominico would... would be so unhappy. Oh no! Dave! What, what's happened? David? Esteemed heir to the great sage Cooper's? Why has it taken me so long to realize? Because you're too busy being a dick. I, I couldn't protect you. All the magic that has been in my family for generations. My ancestors brought me and Cooper's heir together 
for a reason, but I... Uh, no. Just thinking about it is too painful. It's unbearable. Well, that was, uh... That could have been avoided. I must apologize if I worried you. It hit me the moment I saw poor David's body. Now everything is clear. It appears I was put on this world as part of a grander design to fulfill my family's destiny. That is, protecting the heir of one of the great sages. Protecting David. This has always been my duty. And you fucked up. But somewhere along the way, my ancestors let the power go to their heads. We lost sight of our true purpose. If only I'd realized all this sooner, I could have prevented this tragedy. And he spent, you know, you forced him to eat fucking dog food on his, you know, his last day, basically. Uh, that's not going to be nice. I ordered to live my with. servants to bury David as the heir to a great sage should be buried. But nothing can put right the wrong I have done. I am not fit to show my face in public. Will you do me one last five? We will help you kill yourself, yes. No, no. No, he's not going to do that, surely. Uh, yes. I know it was my Leopold who ended David's life. It pains me to have to ask you, but will you destroy him for me? Will you avenge the spilt blood of the sages? I think we will. <laughs> Creature isn't my Leopold anymore. He's being controlled by some evil magic. Again, this could have been avoided. We've seen it happen before. It's happened again. I know this won't make amends for my unforgivable ignorance, but it's all I can do now. And I owe you something, too. For all the trouble I have caused you. Oh, yes. I see that the girl has yet to unlock her true potential Ouch. as a magician. Smacked me hand on the desk. Allow me to awaken the dormant powers within you. <gasps> Ooh. Well, at least he's been, you know, he's sorry. You can tell he's sorry. He knows he's made a big mistake. And Jessica learns Kassizzle, which she was actually... Oh no, she, was she using Kafrizzle on us before? I can't remember. Anyway, and Kakrackle. Cracking stuff. They saw Leopold heading north out of town. That's where you should start looking. Okay, north it is. I'm sorry to have to ask this of you. I wish you the best of luck. Same to you, Domenico. Good luck sleeping easy at night. Man, there's a lot of guilt on one man's shoulders. I mean, deservedly so, but still. At least he is uh, very, very apologetic. He knows what he's done. Destroy Leopold. I like how he says destroy him. Not like, could you just kill him for me? No, he wants us to destroy his beloved puppy. And we will do that if we can. Taken down the uh, the scepter twice before. We can do it again. It's just a dog. It's just a dog, you know. It's just a, a really fucking scary dog. Red eyes, big black thing. Probably really muscular, powerful. Killed a dude. But anyway, we're gonna kill it. So, off we go to the north. I think is Jessica back with us now. She should be. She followed us there. Oh, oh shit! I skipped that by accident. Uh, it's nothing much, but. Ever since we defeated Dolmagus, and I picked up the scepter, 
I haven't been able to speak my own mind. So I just wanted to say this now. I don't feel like I've avenged my brother's death at all. Well, no, because Dormagus was just a pawn. I don't know who or what this Lord of Darkness Rapthorn is, but we can't afford to relax while the scepter is still missing. I don't intend to stop searching until we've found that scepter and sealed Rapthorn away again. So, uh, I guess we'll be spending a lot more time together? Thanks for the uh, view, but yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine. Sorry. Did that come out a bit strange? Uh, no, no. It's fine. Really? Thanks. You're sweet. You know that? Doll. Oh. Right, so she is back with us. Yay! Now I just need to give all of her shit back to her because she has nothing. Thanks, game. Right, so, in fact, that magic vestment might be better for her. I'm not sure. Reduces damage from spells by two-thirds. That is, that is really good. That is really good. What weapons does she have, though? Uh, she had that shield. Transfer that back. Okay. Equip, yes. This could take a while. I'm just going to do this off-screen, actually. Okay, so that didn't take too long. I've equipped her magic vestment on her. It's slightly worse defense than the Silk Bustier that she had before, but of course, that reduction in spell damage is probably worth the trade-off. And uh, I think we're good to go. I'm just going to stay at the inn before we leave Arcadia. Just in case there's another scene with Medea. And speaking of which, I will be stopping off at the spring as well. Uh, if I get a chance soon to uh, just see if you've got anything to say about current events and all that shiz. And uh, we'll be heading to the north. There is actually now available to us a side quest that's uh, quite quite good to, to do as soon as you can, but I'm going to leave it for just a little bit. Um, I just want to get to the next sort of uh, town or city, and then I might try it. Stay overnight. Aha, I knew there would be. Welcome to Dreamland, sleepyhead. I'm so grateful for these chances to talk to you. And I'm so happy Jessica's back with us. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Even if Father and I are still cursed, sometimes I wonder if we'll have to spend the rest of our lives like this. Not if I have anything to say about it. I'm sorry. It's just that I get so sad every time I think of Trodane covered in thorns. You know what's strange, though? That you weren't affected by the curse. I know. Weird, isn't it? But I shouldn't be surprised. I always knew there was something special about you. She is crazy about us. Don't forget to take me to the spring every now and then. I miss talking to you. Isn't that what we're doing right now? Do we have to go to the spring every time? We will, though. We'll go... I think we'll go now, actually, before we set off north. Might as well just get out of the way quickly. Doesn't take long. And the reason I want to get to the next city is I just want to see what new items we can buy there. And see, see what is going to be available to us in the alchemy pot once I do. Uh, so let's zoom ourselves this fine morning over to the... Uh, the... Uh, what do I call it? The Mystical Spring. And those new spells that uh, Jessica learned, especially that Cassizzle, or whatever it's called, is going to be damn useful in the next area. We'll be heading north, and it's going to get pretty snowy. Let Medea drink from the spring? Yes. Good news. What? I've just turned 18. How about that? Damn. You can drink now. I had grass. At least over here. Birthday cake, though. Grass. Mm. Nice. I remember the first time you came to the castle. We were just eight years old. It's hard to believe we've known each other for ten years now. That is a damn long time. 
You were an orphan, so you lived in the castle. And in what seemed like no time, you worked your way up to palace guard. It's because I'm awesome. Actually, I have a secret. I recommended you for the position to my father. Damn. It was a way to bring you closer to me, so we could spend more time together. And anyway, you deserved it. She wants to jump my bones. So, my brave palace guardsman, I'm counting on you to make sure I spend my next birthday as a human. I know you can do it. Well, that's all the motivation I need. 18, right. Grass, lovely. Okay, uh, while we're here, let's just have a quick chat to the rest of the gang. Imagine if I drunk this spring water and it magicked away all my extra pounds. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, my beer belly's just like a curse, so I don't see why the water shouldn't work for... Uh, it's not quite... It doesn't quite work that way, Yangus. It's nice to come here and see the beautiful princess in her true form. One of my favourite pastimes is looking at beautiful women. Yeah. She's got a thing for you. Mm. It is pretty obvious. That is true. Trode. Well, that's that's good of you. That's good of you. Right. Okay. Return. That was nice. Let's zoom back to Arcadia. We will be back here eventually. At some point, I'm sure. We're going to be heading to the Blizzard Peaks. Next, that is our destination. And along the way, we should encounter uh, a hut of some sort that we can rest at. Sort of like an inn. But not quite. Uh, and there's bound to be some notorious monsters, some items on the way, new foes. It's, it's exciting. And it's exciting that we have four party members again, and I may need to... Another... Yeah, that side quest I mentioned, I think I should be about level 32 or 33, so we're a little bit underleveled for it as, anyway, so I might just, yeah, get to the next city, see what's happening with the plot, get some new equipment, and uh, we'll be good to go. So let's summon our trusty mount. No, item. There we go. I've only really just finished work, actually, and I, I don't use I'm never usually in the mood to record straight after work. But I thought, no, you're just gonna do it. You're gonna sit down. You're gonna you're gonna make yourself do it. And I gotta say, it's always nice to uh, to play this game. Uh, Robo Robins, Orc Kings. I believe we've seen definitely seen the Orc Kings. I can't remember about the birds, but let's have a look. Uh, let's try out some new spells. Try a sizzle. No, actually, we'll try a a crackle. In fact, great. But uh, I do know in the next city slash town there will be some new cool shields that I want to be buying. Which reminds me, I probably need to spend a bit more time getting a bit more money. On Neos. That's always fun. That's always... For some reason, it takes forever. Oh, yes. Like a crackle. Nice. Nice. Not amazing damage, but... It'll be nice against enemies that are weak against ice. And, of course, the, uh, the fire one is going to be coming in handy very soon. Uh, clean sweep. Windsicles. Cast another. That costs 12 MP, but we do have quite a lot. We've got 229, so I can afford to cast it again. And Angelo just, I don't know, just hit him. Ooh, yeah, I like that spell. Liking it. Dominico came in quite handy there. It was very nice of him to teach us some new magic. Oh, Angus. Angus? 
Angus, okay, Yangus. His armor is just godly. 